In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how you can beat the meta blitzes cover zero style in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. If you've never been to my channel before, my channel focuses in on how to help you become a better Madden player both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball in Madden 21. So we do that through daily videos just like this when we break down about 8 videos every single day to give you different tips and strategies and routes and defenses and blitzes and schemes that you can utilize. We also do our text message membership which is completely free for you to get. All you got to do is text me, my phone number is 812-216-3644 and every single week we release exclusive high level Madden schemes typically are about an hour to an hour and a half long that really go in deep into the game and show you some of the most advanced tips in the community so if you haven't already grabbed those this last week we gave you a one hour video on the trips tight end offensive scheme uh, in the weeks past we've covered the big nickel over G the nickel 55 wide and several others as well so make sure to take advantage of that and shoot me a text message my cell phone number is in the top left hand corner of your screen Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk a little bit about a very specific style of defense, and this is the cover zero meta that a lot of people are using with one step ahead corners and different things like that. And essentially, here's their coaching adjustments in a nutshell. So they're going to have auto flip on, auto alignment to default, ball in air defense to play receiver, option and defense on conservative, and curl flats are going to be on something like 25 yards. And the beauty of this is, let's say that they run 3-5 wide and they do it with one step ahead corners. Now we're going to use the play from our New England ebook. This is a sample play of the New England guide. And it's my favorite play in the game right now, and that's Pat's slot out. And the reason I like this play is not just for what it does against man coverage, but what it also does for zone coverage. And we want to make sure that we're on the... Uh, it doesn't really matter what hash mark you're on. I like to make sure that I'm on the right hash mark to run um, against cover zero, but it, it really doesn't matter. You can do it on either side. Um, but what you'll notice here is that they're going to basically press coverage. They're going to send all the pressure. I mean, literally, they're going to send the house at your offense, right? Well, what you're going to do, and all the very simply, uh, it's one of the most simple things that you can do, but it's super, super effective. And you don't have to block anybody at all. If you want to put everybody out on a route, you can. I like to block people just to kind of make it even better. But essentially, all I'm going to do is I'm going to motion tape on Austin to the left. And as soon as he passes, as soon as he moves, you're going to notice that the corner on the left side is going to move to the left. You see that little movement right there? That's how we know we got him. And we're just going to snap the ball right there, and we're going to basically pass it that hard to the left, and you see you can get that nice rack catch animation that is going to really help you beat the cover zero blitz. Now, the beauty of this is it doesn't just apply to the cover zero blitz. It also applies to the cover three blitz. So we're going to show you two different blitzes here out of the 3-4 bear, um, and I believe the 3-4 bear is one of the is, is still the best blitzing defense in the game just for how well it can send pressure. But what you're going to notice here is I'm going to set up that pressure to come in uh, off this left side edge here. And you see here I'm setting up my pressure. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to simply motion Tavon Austin to the left side. And you're going to see he's going to move again. That little movement right there tells me, oh, that's lob ball time, and I can click on to that and typically get that ball over. Now, right there, the one reason that that might happen is if you don't put enough touch on the ball. It's really, really important that you lob the ball. You really want it to be a lob streak right over the top. That's really, really critical. If you don't do that, then sometimes they can you know recover on that. But again, right here and just hard left there, that's what we're looking for right there, a little swerve catch. And as you can see, it's a one-play touchdown against the cover zero meta. Now, the beauty of this is this also applies to cover three defenses. So let's say that they're running some type of thing like this, where they have basically a cover three style of defense on this on their field, but they want to make sure that they're good on the trip side, so they're going to run it to the strong side of the field. And if you see something like this, once again, that motion over, you're, you're going to notice that he's going to move, that outside there is going to move, and that's where this basically is a simple pass lead up. Now, the one thing I will say is in the cover three perspectives, it's typically a lot better if they're deep halving their zones out of cover three, which they most of the time they will. And what I mean by that is if they put this corner on the left in a deep half, it's going to be a lot better for your uh, for the you know the, the totality of your play. But what you'll see here is again, if they do that deep half, you're going to see instant automatic one play touchdown over the top. And so what that's going to force them to have to start doing is they're going to have to basically go ahead and run some type of traditional, more traditional cover three on you. They're not going to be able to blitz at such a high level because you're able to really give them some problems um, when when you know when they've 
you know when they've been blitzing. So again, you can motion this guy all the way out if you want to. You'll see against zone coverage, what you really, really what you're trying to do is hit that seam right there. The one issue with that, as you can see right there, is if they do run more of a traditional cover three, you can have a little bit of issues. And so you know, got to get in the lab a little bit more on that. But suffice it to say here that this is the best. In my opinion the best cover zero you know one step ahead because look at how you, you you have like a five yard head start before you even throw the ball and if you have a good quarterback like Aaron Rodgers you're going to be able to get the ball over the top very very easily so that is the best cover zero beater in Madden 21 make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen so that you can get the rest of the tips. We're going to be breaking down some pro players today. I'm really excited to talk a little bit about Decroft, a little bit about Poison, and a little bit about uh, Young Henry as well. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And also, if you want to get the full uh, breakdown of this formation right here, the full breakdown, the my uh, full ebook on the New England Patriots offense is in the description. It's over 400 pages with over 36 formation breakdowns and over 10 hours of video content. And we just put it on sale for about 10. Uh, we basically discounted it 10 bucks just for the weekend. So it's only 20 bucks to pick up the whole offense. It's the best offense in the game. Be sure to pick that up in the description. Last thing before I go is if you want to get a free sample of that ebook, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. Thanks for your support. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys in our stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern right here on my YouTube channel.